Today we got the terrible and sad news that it looks like Bethlehem Steel, our biggest, largest, most famous steel mill, is going to close and that it's going to close forever. Throughout the entire 19th, 20th century and now today, Bethlehem Steel hired people, was one of the largest employers, helped build steel for great iconic projects, and helped build America. In its heyday in 1957, 30,000 steel workers were there. They thought they had lifelong jobs in helping build steel. It was the largest single employer in Baltimore for decades. It made everything for steel from Campbell soup cans to national beer cans. It built great bridge selections for our own Chesapeake Bay and bridges. It built steel for refrigerators, toasters, and other 1,000 products. And during the war, it was part of the arsenal of democracy in which it built liberty ships. Madam President, I'm very close to the people at Bethlehem Steel. Members of my own family worked in this steel mill, and they worked very hard. People who came into my father's grocery store worked at Bethlehem Steel. They thought that they had a job that it would last forever because America would need steel. Well, it doesn't look that way. Because you see, though they thought, those workers thought that America would always more an American steel. We looked the other way when foreign imports began to drive down our prices and drive down our steel mills. We've got to begin to reclaim what we're thinking here. America's steel and steel workers protected the United States and our freedom. At Sparrow's Point, they rolled gun barrels and made steel for shells and landing craft, airplanes, and ships. We have to remember who steel in our country really built America. But you know who the last owner was? Not the most recent, but the one before that? The Russians. I'm not against Russia, but I'm against Russia owning America's tools of production. What will happen to America if we need more steel to go to war? What about needing steel when we build our infrastructure? when they built the great new golden bridge at American taxpayers' dollars, the steel came from China. What are we doing to America? And what are we doing to our manufacturing? I think we need a wake-up wake call. We're busy holding up the entire Congress, protecting tax breaks for billionaires. When are we going to start looking out for American jobs? When, when we're talking about this fiscal cliff, we're not talking about having a jobs component in it? When are we going to start talking about tax breaks so that we can have an infrastructure bank, so that we can rebuild America using American products? And why is it when they say you want it made in America, they call us protectionist? Well, I welcome the call of protection. I want to protect American jobs. I don't want them on a slow boat to China or a fast track to Mexico. Now, I might not ever get my steel mill back. Baltimore might not ever have those jobs back. But you know, we've got to get serious in our country. What are our priorities? We have to start rewarding those industries that make products in this country. Right now, our whole code is oriented to protecting people who make money off of money. Well, let me tell you, one day America's, we're already in getting a big wake-up call. So, Madam President, I have fought for more than 25 years to reverse this tide against American manufacturing and against American steel, and I'm going to keep on fighting. But right now, as we go on debating this fiscal cliff, we've got to make sure we look out for the safety net. If you went with me right down there now to Dundalk, and to Sparrow's point, they would tell you they want their job, and if they can't have their job, could they please have a safety net that protects them in terms of unemployment insurance, health care benefits, and something to be able to be a bridge to get their family over this very hard time. I worry that during this fiscal cliff, we're going to lose those benefits. But I will tell you why we'll fight that we don't go over the fiscal cliff. And in the meantime, I say to the men and women at Bethlehem Seal, thank you for what you did. You built America. You helped save America. You helped save Western civilization.
We're going to work right now to save your safety net benefits. Come to that hall where you can apply for those benefits. They're still there, and we still want to make sure you're eligible. But we want not only a safety net to get you over the hard time, because we believe the best safety net is jobs in American manufacturing. Madam President, I'm going to yield the floor, but I will not yield the fight for American jobs. I note the absence of a quorum.